every decision you made in that moment, every split second decision either saved your life or got you killed and you had no idea of knowing which decision was the right decision. Natalie Sonondaji only just narrowly escaped the Hamas assault on the Israeli music festival. More than 200 attendees were killed in that attack. More were kidnapped, all part of the broader terror plot that killed more than 1300 Israeli civilians. The 28 year old Jewish New Yorker from Great Neck spoke about the harrowing ordeal and about the Israeli mission to root out Hamas. This isn't a fight between Palestine and Israel. This is a fight between Israel and Hamas, a terrorist organization that is just as complicit in the deaths of innocent Palestinians as it is in the deaths of innocent Israelis. The NYPD says it's already working to understand the terror attack, working specifically with its liaison, Detective Charlie Benaim, based in Israel full time. So that way our executives can have a good understanding what's going on in Israel and how things that are happening here uh, may impact our. Uh, our city. Locally, police officers remain on heightened alert, securing sensitive locations like synagogues and mosques. But Commissioner of Intelligence and Counterterrorism Rebecca Weiner stressed there's no reason for specific concern over an imminent attack right now. So this is a moment of heightened threat. We've had many of them over the years. And the types of threats that we're particularly attuned to are the types of threats that New York City has grappled with uh, quite successfully over the last 15 years. And absolutely, people need to be going about their daily business.